What's up guys, welcome back to Brain Games. Currently just before 7 p.m. on Monday afternoon. I'm gonna head to the gym here in a bit um, as soon as I upload this video. And I think I'm just gonna go along myself. But um, the topic of the video is power naps. I'm not gonna be talking about any scientific stuff, any studies on you know, the, the literal power of naps, but just from my own personal experience, stuff that you all have experienced. But <laughs> I guess starting it off, this is also gonna be a probably short video just because it's just something really random, but you know, you ever have like a headache or stomach issue that just won't seem to go away no matter if you know you're taking Advil, drinking water, stuff like that, especially for a headache, or you don't know why your stomach's upset and it just won't seem to go away, then you know, just take a nap. Go to sleep for a few, you know, hours, maybe a few minutes, stuff like that. Um, it just seems to go away. Naps just seem to be just some magical medicine that just cures a lot of things, you know? So, like, if you're sick, take a bunch of naps. That's what I do. Um, I feel so much better after them. You know, sleep in general just seems to be such a huge thing, and it's very important. I've talked about it in the past, but, you know, your sleep is where your body repairs a lot of damage. Um, it's also where, you know, new things you learn get solidified. Um, sleep in general is very important, and naps can also be very important and very powerful, especially if you don't have time to, you know, fully sleep and just have time to nap. You know, it's still better than nothing. And like I said, if you have small little ailments like a headache, body ache, stomach issues, something hurts maybe, you know, take a nap. Odds are that little nap is going to solve a lot of things. Um, I don't know where my mom got it, but she always told me the general rule is nap should be either less than 30 minutes or more than an hour. I don't know why the 30 minutes to an hour range is bad, but apparently you're not supposed to nap in that range. You either, you're not supposed to be shorter than 30 minutes or longer than an hour or longer than 60 minutes. But like I said, that's something my mom told me, so I don't know how true that is, but you know, just take a nap for however long. Sometimes you don't even need to set an alarm. You just, it's one of those naps where you just know you just gotta go to bed and you'll wake up whenever, and you'll wake up, you know, when your body needs to wake up. And sometimes that's what you need. And so, you know, Depending on how much time you have, you can maybe go for those naps or maybe you have to set a timer for your nap. But whatever it may be, hopefully a nap can solve it um, as far as if you're napping to, you know, get rid of some small minor problem. But also the most basic, most in front of you answer for napping is because you're tired and you just need more rest. But in general, just power of naps is kind of insane. I don't nap that much, but when I do, it's because, you know, like I said, I have some headache that won't go away or stomach's bothering me. Or I'm just in pain for some reason. Don't know why. Maybe some general ache. And I feel like a nap's going to solve it because they've solved plenty of things for me like that in the past. So, you know, why not try it again? But, you know, <laughs> really random video, but it's somewhat related to health and fitness as far as health and, you know, improving it or solving small issues with your health. But, yeah. Um, hopefully with COVID though, guys, you're wearing out mask on public and around people. If you liked the video, really appreciate it. If you could subscribe to, subscribe to the channel, so really appreciate that. I'll catch y'all next time. Adios.